Hey, uh, this is my second video on the 9patch tool. Uh, I'm doing this video for two reasons. The first one is uh, Google has done a lot of uh, improvements in this tool, which uh, certainly improves the usability of uh, the new Draw 9patch tool. And the second reason is I want to show you an even more complex example of what you can do with 9patches. Uh, so here on the left I have uh, an image uh, which is going to be a background for an edit text and uh, this image is a lot more different from the image from the previous video because it has a little uh, magnifying glass icon to the right. So uh, here in the preview area you can see that um, the way uh, this icon is stretched in different uh, modes you know when you stretch it horizontally or vertically or when you do it vertically and horizontally uh, the icon is uh, distorted and we don't want that to happen. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to uh, apply patches so that the magnifying glass doesn't get stretched and we also have to make sure that the text is contained within this white area it should not uh, overflow to the icon so we'll have to do that as well. You may already know that patches are applied to the left and top of the image and padding is applied to the right and bottom of the image. So uh, when I just did that, you would have noticed one thing that this tool is a lot more informative than the previous version. When you hover your mouse uh, to the left or to the top, which is the patches area, you get a tooltip specifying, okay, here it is. Yeah, the tooltip specifying the pixels where the patch is applied. When you take your mouse to the right or to the bottom, you can see uh, the pixels where your padding is applied. Currently, since we don't have any patches or uh, padding applied, the entire image will stretch. Right? So uh, now we're going to go ahead and apply the patch. And uh, in the previous version of the tool, you have to simply click here and drag across the screen in order to apply a patch. But that's no longer the case with the new 9patch tool because uh, in the newer version, what you can do is uh, Google has given you guides to do that. So when you take your mouse to the top, you get guides for the horizontal patch. All you have to do is to grab a handle and drag it across to specify the stretch area. Got it? So these guides are one of the best improvements alike. And uh, when it comes to the vertical padding, we have to apply the padding in such a way that the icon does not get stretched. So here in this case, we are going to need uh, two patches to accomplish that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a handle and let me go ahead and drag it. Got it. So we're going to apply a patch to the top which does not include the magnifying glass. And once we are done with that, I'm going to apply another patch to the bottom area which does not include the magnifying glass as well. So once you apply the patch, you can just hover your mouse across the patch and you can get the information about the pixels. So I can do that for this one too. So with this information written down, it will be easier for you to apply the same patch to different states of an image. For example, if you want a focused state of the edit text, you can do a different version and use this information to create patches for that as well. In the previous version of the 9patch tool, you have to count pixels. You know, that is no longer necessary with this improved version which uh, really saves a lot of time for developers. And the next thing we have to do is to apply uh, the padding because the padding specifies the content area. So uh, we have to see the content. So I'm going to click on show content. And currently since uh, we have not applied any padding, the content area is the entire background image, which means if you type a text on an edit text with this background, the uh, text will certainly overflow to the image, which is something that we don't want. So uh, I'm going to apply a padding, which will uh, specify the content area. 
first let me start with the vertical padding I want to apply this it's good to have some image on the top as well as the bottom because it looks better and uh, now you have to do all these minor adjustments to see that you're applying the patch correctly but I leave that to you and uh, now we have enough space on the top as well as the bottom and now we are going to take care of the left and right regions so uh, the text input should be restricted within the white background so I'm going to apply that as well and on the right I'm going to drag this and here on the preview you can see that the content